What's up you guys? My name is Kiana Mitchell and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I already have my makeup done um, because I'm just going to be filming like some graphic liner tips, answering your questions, all that kind of stuff in this video. Um, I have some notes because I asked on Instagram what questions you guys have for me with graphic liner. So I'm going to answer those first and then um, I'll just give some tips if I feel like I didn't cover it already in the video. So if you want to learn a little bit more about it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first question, um, what are the best brushes for graphic liner? And um, I personally think you could just use like any little paint brushes, but um, I'll show you two options. So I have the Suba Beauty 610 brush right here. It's a really, really tiny um, liner brush. I use this one a lot for things like my inner corner wings and everything, or to taper off the ends of liner. But also if I just want really small detailed lines, this is gonna be the brush I use. And then um, another brush, this is just a paint brush, honestly. Uh, but I like this one just because it tapers. It looks all frayed when it's clean, but um, once I have like liner on it, it kind of like condenses the bristles a little bit and I really love this brush just because um, it's easier to get like clean lines with a bigger brush because uh, it'll kind of hide if your hand is shaky but also um, it's just a lot faster to use a bigger brush so I kind of use a mix of these two or like a mix of different paint brushes and liner brushes but yeah these are the like top two I'd recommend. Um, you can get like detail paint brushes in a pack at like Michaels or Walmart or anything for super cheap so start there and then if you find a brand that you want to like support and buy brushes from then you can do that but you don't really need to like buy liner brushes from a makeup brand you know what I'm saying they're all water activated liners anyway so um, they're like really easy to use with a paintbrush it's almost like painting so the next question is, how do you keep a steady hand while you are doing liner? Um, so what I like to do, like I have my makeup desk right in front of me and then I'll have a mirror in front. And what I do when I'm doing my liner is I'll rest my elbow on the table so that um, my hand has a little bit more control while I'm doing my liner. Or I'll rest like the bottom of my hand, like maybe my pinky, while I'm holding the brush. Um, and then you just have to be careful that you don't mess up your base. But if you do your liner before, you'll be fine. For me, resting my hand on my face doesn't really mess up my makeup anyway, so I'll do that a lot too. And if you want like extra control, do both and you'll be set. Um, I think those are like the most helpful tips for getting a steady hand aside from just practicing. The more you do the liner, the more like you'll have muscle memory and um, your liner will be cleaner and you'll get faster at it. So practice all the time and use like your surroundings to stabilize your hand and your arm the next question is um, if you don't have like water activated liners someone asked if you think you could mix like white concealer with eyeshadow to get liner and um, I totally think you can do that I used to do that when I didn't have the water activated liners but I found that it could be like kind of dry and flake off like it doesn't really last but what I used to do to get like colorful liner before I had actual colorful liners is I would draw out the liner shapes with um, concealer and then pack the eyeshadows on top and blend them instead of mixing it in with the concealer does that make sense um, so I'd recommend that instead of like actually mixing the eyeshadow into the liner so you or into the concealer so that you don't get it like extra dry um, my eyes water if my liner is too drying or if my eyeshadow is too drying or anything so um, it just kind of helps to do it the other way around next question is liner for hooded eyes like what how do you do liner if you have like a little crease in your eyes I don't know if y'all can tell but I have hooded eyelids you can see like you can't see it when I have like more detailed looks on or when I take pictures um, I take them at an angle to where like my crease doesn't show as much but you can definitely see that there's just like a whole crease all the way through right here um, because I have hooded eyelids so obviously this red line is way above that crease um, and that's how you're gonna get like your liner to show even with your eyes open whenever you're doing um, graphic liner or eyeshadow or anything for hooded eyelids you want to go above the hood of your lid right there I prefer to use all the space between like my eyelashes and my eyebrow instead of just using like up to that crease so that's what I'd recommend go above the little crease in your eye okay how long did it take you to get good at liner so for me um, 
I think like liner came to me a lot faster because I was already doing makeup and doing like detailed looks and drawing on my face and everything like that. Um, but it definitely has gotten a lot easier the more I do it. So I just say it depends on how much you practice. I do graphic liner pretty much every day. Like even if it's something simple like this. So it kind of like keeps me in the habit of being like focused on those little details. Um, but yeah, I think I've started like... I started really consistently doing graphic liner in February or March on my Instagram page, but I've done it in the past. It was just like my style was mixed in with other things, but um, I just found that I really like it, so I kept posting and doing these kinds of looks. Um, but yeah, it just takes like the more consistent you are, the faster you'll see improvement, and everyone will grow and improve at different rates, so that's really going to depend on what you put into it um that's all the questions that i had from instagram because i honestly didn't wait that long for people to ask them i guess i'll talk about what liners i use so i have multiple little boxes of liners so these are the um glam vice retro liners i got their pastel set and then they sent me a few of their metallic ones as well so far i really like these i've only used them for a couple of looks but uh, I can tell that the consistency is a little different from the Suva Beauty Hydro Liners, which are the ones I use mostly um, before I got these, and the ones from By Mellow Ups. But these Glam Vice Liners kind of dry faster than the Suva Liners, so I have to like keep putting water in them. But I don't mind that. It's just like you have to remember to re-wet them, or else they'll be like a little too thick. The consistency might get too thick for you to apply the liner easily. So. I use the Glam Vice liners. <clears throat> I also have the uh, Suva Beauty Hydro liners. And these like are huge. They're 10 grams of product. You'll never run out. And these are the ones I'm the most used to, but I still like the Glam Vice. So the difference is um, the Suva ones are 10 grams and the Glam Vice ones are only five grams of product. So it's like half the size. But I kind of like that they're smaller. And I like that they're already pastel so you don't have to mix. Because you can get the same shades with Suva if you mix them. But sometimes sometimes I'm too lazy to mix. And then I end up just using like, all the same colors. So, um, And then lastly, I have these. I also have these little liners. These are the water inks from By Mellow Lops. And they're really, really nice as well. I only have a few shades. But I like that with By Mellow Lops you have like options of the sizes that you get. So this is like their minis, um, and they have a set of the minis, so you can buy like a pack of them. These are only three grams, so this is three, the Glam Vice are five, and then the Suva Beauty, the Suva ones are ten. So that's all of them like next to each other. But you can also get the um, water inks from By Mellow Lops in a, in a size the same as um, Suva, so it's kind of up to you. If it were me, I would buy the small, like the set of the minis, just because you get so many colors you can mix them, um, instead of buying like all these big ones that you'll never run out of. So yeah, I guess that's all I have like in terms of questions and stuff, answering y'all's questions and then like what liners I use. So if I missed anything or if you have more questions, feel free to comment them and I'll answer them easily. And um, maybe I can film another one of these videos if there's like a lot that I missed. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to like do more here on YouTube. So if you have any video requests, let me know. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Keanu Mitchell underscore. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you liked some of the tips that I gave you. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!